Hello everyone, this is Nagesh Rao, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering from Nalla Narasimha Reddy Education Society's Group of Institution. Guys, today we will discuss one topic from Transportation Engineering of First Unit, that is Public Private Partnership Schemes of Highway Development in India. So, this is the topic and we will discuss today briefly about this. This is the agenda. Public private partnership or a highway. What, which, why, where, how. Business prospects, risks, limitations, opportunities, road ahead. What, need and budget. So, need is more and budget is less. Yeah, guys, this is actual important table. Schemes and modalities of triple P. So we have different types of schemes is there, and we will discuss one by one. So first, build, own, operate. That is B O O. Build, develop, and operate. B D O. Design and construct and manage. Finance. D C M F. So this is the first part. So in this part, the private sectors designs, buildings, owns and develops, operate and manages and assist with the no obligations to transfer ownership to the government. So this is the point, guys. So we can transfer uh, ownership from one, one place to another place without any obligations of this. As part of the scheme and coming to the uh, second part that is by build operator that is bbo and lease develop operator ldo and wrap around addition that is w a -E. the private sector buys or lease an existing assist for the government and renovate, mode rises, expands, and the op operates the assessor again with no obligation to transfer ownership back to the government. So, this is also one of the point. And coming to the next, build, operate, transfer, build, own, operate, transfer, rent, own, transfer, build, lease, operate, transfer. And build a transfer operate. The private sector designs the builds and assist operates it and then transfers it to the government when the operating contract ends or at some other pre specified time. Yeah, we will discuss briefly about this. Why PPP in road networks? So, India was growing at the fastest rate, the GDP growing rate of. So, 9th to 5th year plan it is 5.5%, 10th to 5 years plan is 7.6%, and 11th 5 year plan is 9%. It is a expectation. So, generally for this triple P, when we are planning to increase our GDP rate from, uh, from private side and from the government side. So, government expectations investment to be 8% of GDP and in that 1.2% of GDP would be the share of private investors. So, some of the advantages of triple P. So, access to private sector finance, efficiency advantages for using private sector skills and potentially increased transparency an enlargement of focus from only creating an assist to delivery of a service and some infrastructure. So, guidelines for approval, the project identification, inter-ministerial consultation and principal approval of triple P A C expressions of interest, formulation of project document, 
approval invitation of bids hey guys project undertaken through triple p so uh, we have three is there that is a bot toll based bot means build operate transfer so one is a toll based and second one is bot energy based and third one is spv special purpose vehicle so guys here bot toll means a road developer built the road and he is allowed to recover his investment collecting toll over a concession over a concession period of 30 years in most of the cases so guys uh, we are uh, seeing everywhere uh, how the pp uh, pp scheme is going on in uh, highways uh, generally uh, private uh, sector they are constructing uh, roads with help of uh, government means uh, through pp scheme so we are uh, seeing everywhere in transportation as well as many places in even though uh, railways as well as uh, medical field in everywhere that is the toll based and bot entity based means a road developer is awarded the projects and the cost of building the road is paid to him on a six month basis after the project starts commercial operations this desires the business of the operator to a large extent that is bot entity based and next one is uh, that is a svp sorry spv so spv means special purpose vehicle we know very well land funds especially debts funds of longer maturity and directly to eligible projects to supplement loans from bank and the financial institution so guys this is the undertaking through the uh, triple p some projects so feature prospects means why to invest the transport sector constitute six percent of the country's gdp and 70 percent of the share of the road sector the government of india has launched major initiatives to upgrade and strengthen highways and expressways in the country the value of road and bridges in infrastructure in india is expected to grow at uh, cog of 17.4 percent between 2012 to 17 to reach usd 10 billion the financial support we will, we will know from make in india the possible uh, inr 378.8 billion has been allocated towards a proposed investment in the national highway Authority of the india and state roads which includes 30 billion for the northeast so these uh, are the government of india allocated and some of uh, triple p are uh, contributed or information where projects overview of the sum of the successful project yeah guys these are the live project when uh, now it is going on but delhi Meerut expressway 150 kilometer long project is going on Vadodara mumbai expressway is going on now and special accelerated road development program for the northeastern region this one also is going on and golden quadrilateral highway network we know very well from delhi mumbai chennai and from kolkata so this one also triple p under so project type is national highway we know duration is 2001 to 2012 estimated investment is 308.58 billions so under national highway authority of india the overall length of the quadrilateral is 5846 kilometer around 5900 and this is a view some of the these highways all together account for just two percent of the country and total road infrastructure but they carry 40 percent of the total national traffic and another one is the chennai outer ring road this one is the location chennai Tamil Nadu. state government sponsor is there constructing jmr group and napc limited 
There is a phase one and phase two is the GVR infrastructure and Ashoka built on. And estimated is 20 billion. Duration is phase one is 2009 August to June 2013. Phase two is January 2013 to present. So this is from Chennai. So this is the view actually for our 62.3 kilometer project being the built in two phases. We know very well this is the information. The first phase of the 29.65 kilometer transportation carried was taken by the GMR and for next is G GVR infrastructure. Risk in public private partnership in development of road network. So pre project risk of delay in land acquisition. So this is the very important, uh, this is the first step, this is the important to get the acquisition of the land and external link linkages and financial risk and planning risk. So these are the risk ahead for the project. And coming to the next one is the construction risk. So means it is a design risk. So construction risk and approval risk. So for example, anyone expected candidate is there, then it will be delayed more and more. So from lower level to higher level of the officials. Next, operational risk, technology risk, operations and maintenance risk, and traffic risk, and financial risk. So, these are also risks, so we need to overcome all those things. Thank you, guys.